Son, I want you to know that I know enough about life that a good woman will not marry a man who hates his father. You have to forgive him, not for his sake, but for yours. You are mommy's flowers in her heart of gardens. I loved you when your father left, and I love you now. One good thing about him leaving is, it allows you to create your own path, and your footprints never needed to erase those that were put there before you. When you learn early as a boy how to trust God, when you become a man, see, you will already know that, kiddo. Oftentimes, behind your life story is your father's painful story. That's how he began. More times than should, hurt people. Hurt people. Remember, mommy loves you. All these special times shared, just you and I, I wouldn't have wanted it no other way. What you don't learn as a boy, not having your father around, God will teach it to you as a man. None of your good stones will be left unturned. God will help you. Who knows? The many tears you've cried as a boy, your father may have cried ocean of those same tears as a man. Think about life, son. It don't always give us what we want. It gives us what it feels we deserve. Strange as it may be, you may not understand the method of your father's madness now, but someday it will become wisdom to you as a man later. Last thing, when it feels and looks like you've lost one blessing, God has already put two more in place. In order to receive it, you have to believe it in here. Mommy loves you. Hey guys, my name is Macy. I just wanted to tell you, I love you. And God does too. I may be little, but I have something big to say. I have been in the house with my brothers growing up with our father not being around, and I saw what it did to them, and maybe that's what it's doing to you. I see their tears, and I feel your pain. Um, a girl is okay. You being a boy will be okay too. Daddies come and go all the time, but you don't have to leave too. I love you. Hello future Senator Pumpkins, I am DJ Senate coming here today to love on you in prayer and encouragement. I'm on my knees at the altar. For those of you who can, take a few moments to kneel down in prayer wherever you are. We are touching and agreeing for God to be in our midst and moved by his power, saving, healing, delivering, and setting free. Dear Gracious Father, here we are. No big words, no fancy anything. Raw in our spirit, sincere in our hearts. Oh God, seeking for divine directions that you have in store for our lives. God, on yesterday or even on today, we failed to meet your standards of holiness. Not because we didn't want to, oh God, but because at times there's this thing that keeps pulling on us. If we pick up the phone, it's sometimes horrible news. Somewhere, God, a man has walked away from his family. He needs your guidance, God, to understand why his life is filled with so much pain. There's a mother, God, that has walked the floor all night, crying, looking for answers because she doesn't understand why girl that's ran away from home because she felt love was calling her in a different direction. That boy, God, that feels overlooked, counted out and left aside. Somebody's on their bed of affliction, been praying, calling on you. They don't understand how a God who can heal won't heal. 